I'm attempting Minecraft's hardest challenge. Our story starts with a player named Freshly MC. Freshly, a veteran hardcore Minecraft player, was looking for a new way to play the game, and so Freshly began his journey to get 1056 advancements. Welcome to Blazing Caves, a data pack that adds advancements for almost everything in the unmodified game with plenty of challenges in between. It would take an experienced player mere hours to get all advancements, now takes hundreds. But Freshly is one of a handful of players to beat back, what makes Freshly so unique. Not only was this run hardcore Minecraft, it was half heart hardcore. He played for 334 hours, always half a heart away from losing everything. Now that you know what we're up against, it's my turn to be the next person to get 1,100 advancements in half heart hardcore, or die trying. If you're familiar with this advancement pack, you may know there are advancements which require dying, which is why any hardcore players use an official add-on that changes death advancements to damage. In Half Heart Hardcore, this is still far from an easy task, but it makes the challenge possible. You might also notice a timer in the top right. This is a speedrun timer used to track in-game time. My goal is to beat Freshly's 334 hour run and possibly even my 170 hour regular hardcore run. Those were both in Minecraft 119. Well, I'll be playing on the latest version, Minecraft 1.20, which adds 44 extra advancements. Without further ado, here's my first attempt. I made it to the stronghold and filled in the end portal, but I was missing gunpowder for elytra fireworks. Oof. Why exactly am I doing this? Well, a couple of months ago, I did these same advancements in hardcore and I made a montage of it. At the end I teased I would do it again in half hard hardcore if I got 1056 likes, you know, as a joke. And while we're far from close, it is steadily growing. And don't get me wrong, it's great people are watching, but that is a slow ticking time bomb. Oh. oh, my shield is pointed at a skeleton, and there's a brute behind me. What, what do you do? I mined a hay bale, and it updated the sand, and I found. You see, half hard isn't exactly the same as damageless. There's quite a couple ways to survive taking damage. Absorption is a potion effect granting the user extra hearts, so obviously this is our bread and butter, because extra health means less dying. Golden apples give two extra hearts, and I trade with villagers at the start of every attempt for apples to combine with gold at the bastion. Which is why we need to reduce as much damage as possible. Armor, its enchantments, and resistance are absolutely vital even without the extra hearts. With 14 attempts under my belt, with 15 attempts under my belt, I started livestreaming my attempts and it wouldn't be long before I finally made some massive progress. Six pearls, not bad guys, not bad. Oh, wonderful. Uh, why 38? Oh, it's 135! Uh, we're, we're gonna be here for a while, folks. Whoa! Oh, skeleton, skeleton! Find this portal room. Trying <laughs> these absorption arts. Die. <gasps> My heart. <laughs> That's my uh, first half hour hardcore dragon kill. 
with 1100 advancements where to even start. I'm a practice speedrunner, so it's in my best interest to beat the game as soon as possible to unlock good loot and elytra flight fast. We're safe! Got elytra. But what advancements do we do now? Blazing Caves is vanilla Minecraft with one difference, advancement rewards. Optionally, you can get rewarded with additional items for beating certain advancements. These advancement rewards create a route we can follow to get us to our first big goal. Travel so far into the end dimension, you might as well be on another planet. We're specifically traveling a hundred thousand blocks away. Even with no rockets to power your elytra, all the flying related advancements give extra rockets. Back also has some large collection goals you should always be working towards. That being one stack of almost every item and block. All the flying in the end overlaps pretty well with collecting 64 ender dragon heads. This is where Freshly and I start to split paths. Freshly opted to leave the end after one end city instead of going for these big goals and instead come back much later with Totems of Undying. But that's slow, and honestly, not too fun. So I had another plan. Remember the apples I traded for earlier in the run? We could potentially craft more golden apples if I just had some other source of gold. And we do! And City Loot Chests can give us our goal to get us to 100,000. So, that's my ambitious first goal. Beat the game and fly out 100,000 blocks. I'd say it's going great so far. This attempt has been my first dragon kill, first elytra, and was my longest lasting run yet. Was? Oh, wait, 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 I'm, I'm on half a heart right now. Oh. In trying to play extra safe, I equipped my chest plate, which ironically is the death of me. Let's skip ahead a little. The next run is our second dragon kill, a slower run overall, but a faster elytra because of a closer end ship. I also routed in an advancement that gives you a feather falling four book. Okay, we have another gap hole. Thank god. Number one. This. Number two. This. 10,000 blocks. <gasps> Wait. The gateway is like on the thing. Um, be like ideal to do shulker transport on this, but how? You're 100% gonna die. I have an idea though. It teleported! Come back. Yes, 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 yes! No! Holy shit! <laughs> Going to 100k? Yes, sir. We're, uh, 40,000 out. We are so rich. Oh! You're kidding. <laughs> well, we, uh... We've proven it's possible. Now I guess it's, uh, it's a matter of if I want to do it. Twenty-five capitals.
Wait, that gave us diamond pickaxe! Wait! Holy shit! <laughs> it's dead. Damn, good ships are good fucking ships already. Holy shit! Oh, dude, three deaths in the outer end. This is the run. I think there was one shulker bullet shot. I wasn't gapped like a moron. 24 gapples. It's like, it's not that deep. More character development in the story arc, of course. Oh, double bad gap stables. I think the only thing we like actually need from uh from Bastions are like Fire and Obby. Surely we just like get the juice gold blocks out of this. Okay, that's three. Um uh, no fire res. We did get arrows. Uh this is bad bad. <laughs> Blaze sneezes on me, I'm fucking gone. I'm a goner, man. I'm fucking terrified! Double spawner! I think it's time to trade class. <laughs> yes, yeah, the clutch up. Holy shit. Uh, wrong data pack. Okay, so we got at least three, which gave us another four, and then seven more. No fire res! I don't need this! If I need a pearl travel, yeah, what if I just threw a pearl? I don't need soul speed 3! Dude, did you know 95% of gamblers quit right before they hit the jackpot? <laughs> we bro- Oh my god. How much- <laughs> Uh Totem front load? You're fucking dead. Quitter mindset. Woodland Mansion's closest spawn are so incredibly rare I've maybe had three ever. If I just had some way to kill an evoker without it summoning vexes, and I lost it to a spider. And then you literally just free totem. Of all these lost runs, this one stings the most. Like one of those opportunities you know you'll never get again. But who needs totems anyways? We need to fly to a thousand. Please, please, please. Okay, okay, we made it, we made it. Holy shit, cutting it close. And we now are good on rockets. Dude, I don't want to take my hands off the keyboard after how I lost yesterday's run. This honestly is probably the most nerve-wracking part of the run, because I need to like be on my game for a very long period of time. Oh, I did it again! This does not look good on paper. Four runs got to the elytra, but couldn't make it to 100,000. It's kind of getting hard to edit. So, how about we have some half heart trivia? On this run, I got Feather Falling 2 boots, so true or false? If I throw this Ender Pearl, I will die. False, actually. Next question How much fall damage kills you with Feather Falling 2 boots and a golden apple? 10 blocks exactly. Don't ask how I know that. While I have you here, if you're enjoying this video, please consider showing some support if you want to watch more of this journey. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. We have pearls, we have fire res, we have 15 obby. No more messing around. Oh, I didn't see you. We could one cycle. It's dead. 35 minutes. Oh my god, it's a fucking end ship. Dude, this is a fucking bonkers run. We're not, we're not throwing this. Stealth mission success. Fuck, fuck. Fail, fail. Port, port, port. 
We're fine. We're safe. A-okay. Sub-45 Elytra. Okay. There's our looting. Oh, I actually got hit by one. Absolutely stockpiling on capitals. Holy shit. Oh. Oh shit shit. Fuck! Yeah. In my moment of weakness, a familiar face appeared. Can we cook? Alright, alright. Get some totems, set up a bit, then go back. Okay, okay. I think we might try another where we just don't do 100k in the end. While this isn't exactly how I like to play, fine. I just need to kill the dragon one more time. Just one more run. There's no fucking lava, dude. I guess I go into the swamp, why not? Society of Megrophines existed in, uh, in 118 plus would be a vastly better world. Herb, I know what we're gonna do today. Rare. Wait, this is our nether enter. <laughs> I'm in block room. I've never found any of these. Snow evokers. I got trolled. Isn't there a chest in this room? Above? Wait, I heard skeleton. Oh my fucking god. Okay, it's- it's fine. It's fine. This is okay. This is fine. What the fuck?! We have... too much stuff right now. How do I not... throw this? Dude, I just got a fucking totem for the Vex armor trim. Do I think one totem's enough? If you pop one, you get it back. Right, right. So we have two tries. Oh, I could've- I could've used part of this to like, build it. That would've been quirky. Yeah, yeah we make an axe, and I guess a chest plate because we have nothing better to do with it. Drift out. Maybe I do the end split after all, now that I have two totems, essentially. Yeah, I do have fire res here. I just want an arrow. Moron! Well, we have one more fuck up. Nice. My god. Here we go. Oh god, that does not look like there's a ship. Wait, there is. Oh my god, thank god. Okay, and then what direction are we going? East. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm not letting this run die. Cause like, we have some agency over it now. If I make a big mistake, I pop a totem and I leave. Nice. And that's why you don't use water. Off we go, we're 30,000 out. 
Oh, this changes things a little. He's in. Got full crop four. I got a raid farm so fast, and then I watched the VOD back. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, we gotta be really conservative for the next 10 kilometers. Oh my god. Okay, east we go. Is this literally all my apples? Almost all of them. Oh, that was a shulker bullet. I was not paying attention. That could have been a totem pop. We have officially crafted all of our possible apples. 69,000? Holy guacamole! You know what's absurd? I haven't popped the totem. So, like, the totem has literally been cosmetic with the exception of any percent. Shulkers! Let's go. Last thousand. There it is. Got it. We finally reached our first big goal without even needing the totem. We have a good start, but there's still 948 advancements left to get. So stay tuned for the next part of my journey or watch this adventure live on my Twitch channel. Can we survive the full gauntlet of everything Minecraft has to offer? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching.